Hey you guys, I hope you're enjoying your Wednesday night. Um, this is on my spirit, so I'm gonna get it done. The karmics, karmics are men and women that come in people's lives and teach, teach them a lesson. Um, this woman wants to leave this man or leave this woman or this man wants to leave this woman or leave this man, but the karmics won't let them go. They wanna leave now and now they're having a hard time um, leaving them. So let's see what's going on. I mean, they want to leave. They don't cut finances. They don't got their head together. They have matured. They know exactly what they want. They want to leave. But now you ever want to leave and you can't leave. Before they didn't want to leave, they was hesitant. They was, you know, leery. They was indecisive. They couldn't make a decision. They were flip floppy. Now they know exactly what they want to do. Now they want to leave and the karmics is not um, letting them leave. This man is not letting this woman leave. This woman is not letting this man leave. You have to do the gender. So let's see what's going on. What's going on with these karmics not letting this um, man or woman leave? What? Because they feel like they had a relationship. They feel like we had a relationship and at one time it was good and so we're going to rekindle it. I mean, a lot of people feel like that. We were happy at one time. You chased me at one time. You wanted me as a man. You wanted me as a woman and I refused to let it go. I'm sitting there reminiscing and, reminiscing and remembering all the things that we did and the things that we said and the sex that we had and how we held each other and kissed each other and long walks and talks and the memories we created and the things we built and the history that we have together. No, they don't want, they don't want to, he doesn't want her to go. She doesn't want him to go. Plus, some of them got engaged and they want the ring back. No, the ring meant something. Some of them got married to this person. Some of them left their husbands, wives, boyfriend, and girlfriends for this person. Some of them were just friends and they crossed the line. Um, and I'm not talking about friends where friends become lovers. I'm talking about this is my little sister, this is my big brother, where you thought they were going to protect them and one becomes the predator or once one becomes the seducer and all of a sudden they're in bed and they, they feel like they're in love and they done built this thing together and that shit didn't work out, right? That didn't work out. And so... And so the karma is coming out strong. They feel like, you know, we had a relationship at one time. A lot of people believe you can, re, re, you know, reinvest and work on it. And, you know, if it's toxic, no. If it's if it's founded, if it's founded on something faulty or the way you started, the way you end, you know, we all say that. Or, you know, it wasn't, they weren't really meant to be together. Probably not. But if it was, you know, the way they feel like it was a good thing and they should be together then and it was solid, then they, they feel like that they can go back to that. Why do karmics won't let this a man or woman go? They'll take a break. I'll take a break. Or they could be on a break. We're just on a break. We'll get back together. He's going to call me. He's going to text me. He's going to chase me like he normally does. She's going to call me. She's going to text me. She's going to chase me. We're just on a break. We're just on a break. I know. I believe in my being that me and this person are going to get back together. Or we just need a break. That's all. We just need some air. We just need some space. You know, call it whatever you want. We just need a break. Somewhere they feel like if it's a break, they're going to get back together. Give them some time to cool off. He's hot-headed. She's emotional. He's She's hot-headed. He's emotional. Or they just need time to miss me. Um, think about what we had. Or we just need a break. We're just up under each other. You know what I mean? Or there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of people involved. We just need a break. Okay, the karmics. The karmics is talking to me tonight. Come on. Why you want to let this person go? They're avoiding. How you say the inedible? Oh, I can, never could say that word. They're avoiding the disaster. They're avoiding the truth. They don't want to know. I don't want to know that this woman don't want me no more. There's no way in the hell this man don't want me no more. They used to love me. They used to adore me. They used to chase me. They picked other people over me. Um, they made me feel good. I felt like a king to my queen, a queen to my king, an empress to my emperor. You know what I'm saying? He left his wife or husband for me. She left her wife or um husband for her um you know what i mean we grew together we talked together we have history together there's no way they're avoiding the truth never read my void like that i don't want to hear it. i can't there's no way that at one time we were doing so good and then it went left it went left and it might have went left because if this is a karmic you weren't supposed to be with that man um and that woman forever you were just supposed to teach them a lesson or they were supposed to teach you a lesson you're supposed to learn from each other and you were supposed to keep it moving Patrice O'Neill, the comedian, I keep telling that same story. I lost my channel. He talks about in his comedy that a little fish is cute. If you go fishing, they jump up in the water, jump in the water. One jumped up in the boat. He's like, oh, this fish so cute. But the fish was cute. You got to get back in the water. You got to grow some. You got to mature some. You got to learn four, four, four and o'clock. Maybe you jumped in the boat to see what it's like to have a bit of fresh air. But you still, you still um, aquatic. You still got to get back in the water, right? But the fish wants to stay. 
right? What you gonna do? You can't, you ain't allowed to cook it by some people. You gotta throw it back in, but he takes the fish home. You get, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Eventually the fish either gonna get ate, the fish are gonna die, or the fish gonna get thrown away. And this is what this is. And I don't own a right to his uh, joke and I'm not even nowhere near telling his joke. I'm trying to make it more symbolism, a more of a story. This is what this is. It wasn't supposed to be, they're trying to make it be. And he is avoiding. He doesn't wanna hear her tell him that. She doesn't wanna hear him tell him that. You have to do the jig, it's too confusing to me, right? Yeah, and it's confusing enough. This shit is confusing because this shit, they feel like this shit um, hit them from the side. You know what I mean? They got side um, blasted or wiped out or whatever you said, something like that. But it wasn't. It was always coming. They knew that this man or woman didn't really love them like that. They knew that they didn't really see a future with them like that. They were in lust. They were in temptation. They were in whatever reasons why they got together at that time. It was good and that was all it was. It was a time period said it was a season, a reason for, or a lifetime. And that season was over and they don't want to hear it and they're, they're avoiding it. And let's see. Why do, why do karmas won't let this man or woman go? They want to go now. It's funny. When they didn't want to go and you wanted him or her, they were still there. They made every excuse to be there, right? I, I remember I tweeted this out. It came on my spirit years ago. Women make excuses to stay. Men make excuses to leave. I feel like I'm the originator of that. I feel like I own that. I said this like years ago. I tweeted it out. But there's nothing new under the sun. Sometimes you find out that somebody else said the same shit in another country, in another language, or somebody said the same thing. So I always say great minds think alike. This is what this is. This man or woman found reasons to stay while you could have had clear reasons why they should have left years ago. Years ago. I know Eileen. I'll never forget Eileen. And um, she was married to a um, white lady. She was married to a um, post office man for 30 years. And so she would take me because, you know, I was young. And, and then I had my um, my um, daughter. And she had to get leg surgery because she has a bad leg. And we would go up to Pittsburgh a lot. And so she was telling me, I had to, she had to double back. I'm using my words, right? To go because she had left something before she picked me up. And she got me in the car. I was married. I was married. I was young. But I was very understanding. I keep a secret. And she's like, Terry, I came home and my husband was in bed with a woman. I go, are you still taking me? <laughs> you still taking me. I told the story before. Um, and um, but she'd been married with him 30 years, and Eileen was very, very um overweight, but she was very confident and stuff. And she was like, I've been with him for 30 years. She said, I felt something and I knew something, but so make a long story short, she was like, Well, he goes, I want a divorce. She said, I wanted to leave years ago. And I told her a comedian said that I wanted to leave years ago. No, you're not going nowhere, and she'll be back to talk about that. And this is what this is. This is avoiding I Eileen knew it was over, and she avoided it and she could feel it right 30 years but she feel like she invested in this man invested in this woman and she doesn't want to hear it but the relationship had been over right all right let's see um twist exaggerated uh, to give you a symbolism of the story but you get you know where i'm going right all right so why you won't let this person um leave and she was very sad uh why won't you let this person leave karmic this man or woman wants to get away from you now they want to leave Because if he or she will realize they need some shadow work or some um, inner child work, then we can work it out. He has mommy, daddy issues. He has insecurity. She has insecurities, mommy, daddy issues. If they can do that with me, well, damn it, karmics. That's what the spiritual lesson is for, for them to realize that they have shadow work and dysfunction. They see that through you. You see that through them. They learn and then they move toward their twin flame, who's their equal counterpart, who they're more in line with, who obviously the men and women had to do their shadow work and work on their healing. It is not for, it is two um, halves become a whole. It is not two holes and you're trying to merge them together, Right. And I think they don't understand it, but they feel like if she or he is going to get healed and do their shadow work, that's all they need. All he got to do is deal with his addiction. She deal with his addictions, deal with that toxic behavior, those crazy attitudes or those mood swings or just love me. Or maybe I can sex him this way or I can kiss him this way or I can sex her this way or, you know, kiss her or hold her this way or give him some gifts or get more money or I can gain weight, lose weight or I can talk a certain way or I can go back to school or I can draw, drop out or I can give him a baby or I can take care of the kids. Like they're going through a whole bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or if I can just show them, if they can make the connection they need to do some shadow work she needs to shadow work we can we can make it so they're in denial now they're in denial and i don't know what's going on this energy has truly changed i've been channeling that um the um people who are connected to these men and women you put a check in their ear you're probably in no contact or little to minimum um communication whether you live with them or not you have pulled your energy back to the point where this woman or man has to make decisions 
if you're if you're worth it, if you're valuable, and something that you did, some kind of shift in the universe has affected this woman or man, and the karmics feel it. And once something happened, maybe they woke up, um, you know, maybe they had a dream, something happened, and this man or woman said, "Look at this I'm fan on." You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be here anymore. I, I left my wife, my husband, my boyfriend, a girlfriend for you, or I got my side piece waiting on the sideline, man. I want to been waiting to be in this position, and I really love them. I didn't give a crush a chance or overlook this man or woman. I'm talking to somebody long distance or in 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 the DM, um, you know what is it? On um, Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, wherever they doing, it, um, you know, in, in some kind of um social um you know um help groups or something like that. But I know that I really love them. Why am I here with you? And the karmics don't want to hear that. They want he or she wants to avoid that at all costs anything else karmics they want to remind them that you can do all this and be with me it's sad my first instinct and i'm sorry and i'm not gonna throw the karmics under the bus they trusted this woman they trusted this man they believed everything that they said we're gonna be together we're gonna get married we're gonna have kids we're gonna have family day we're gonna graduate from college together we're gonna build together we're gonna be celebrities together we're gonna be famous we're gonna be big and you're gonna be right there with me 11 11 11 on the clock 11 11 11 on the clock you're gonna be right there with me they trusted them you know what i'm saying we're gonna get a house we're gonna own probably gonna be a power team just me and you take on the world they trusted them i'm feeling for the karmics i get it I get it. They trusted them. There's no way that this is over. There's no way that this person um, who wanted me to trust them, leave my husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend, or take a chance on them in a relationship, or believe in them, or encourage and support them. Because don't think karmics don't encourage and support. Don't think karmics don't, um, you know, do the same things maybe you do, but on a different level or a lower frequency. They do. They do. And they hurt, and they have feelings as men and women, right? But they also have shadow work to do, too. And they also also don't understand what temporary means provisional temporary get to understand you know the meaning of words and you're not wasn't supposed to be there you know what i'm saying but they want it to last forever right let me see why won't you let this man or woman go and please come on through this okay some of them could be tauruses capricorn or virgos because because they feel it, it could it could work being organic starting over getting rid of toxic places and things now they want your position Beautiful card. Now they want your position. I can change. I won't be so jealous, insecure. I won't be yelling and fighting. Let's learn love languages. Let's learn, um, you know, communication styles. I can do my work as men and women. Now they and listen. At the end of the day, if you love a man or woman, you are gonna pull out all your cards. You want me to work on my addictions, my behavior? Um, you think I'm doing too much? You want me to pull it back on my two extra? Do you want me to do this? You want me to cut my hair? You want me to grow? They want to go back to the grassroots. You want me to get rid of my mom or my intrusive friends and family? Did you want me to change my religion and my beliefs? They're gonna try to do whatever they need to do to start back organically. It's admirable. It's admirable. Who, ha who hasn't thought about that? You know what I'm saying? Because they want to grow with this person. They want to be you. They want to be you. They want that position. But it was it was under faulty, um, on, you know, it was built on their faulty um, ground. And this person is avoiding the karmics. They don't even want the karmics anymore. They don't. They're avoiding them. Some of them are not doing what they normally do, not calling them, texting them, spending time. Like they're weaning their self off of the karmics. They're weaning their self off of the karmics. And it's really, really sad. You know what I mean? Whatever they did at a height, it is not there anymore. If it was up here on a, you know, um, on a 10, it's down here at a two, at a two. I mean, they barely hanging on. They're really trying to be cordial, casual. If sex was hyped, it's like it's it's like at minimum, at best, or ritual at best. Um, if they went and they called, they don't do it at that level. They she is he is really trying to move away from these karmics. It's on my spirit. Now, I don't know if it's true. Y'all gonna let me know? Y'all not gonna let me know that, and they're not gonna let you know that. They're not going to let you that because they want to keep you safe because you're their comfort. They're cleaning up. They're cleaning up their mess and they don't want you to know it. Karmas, why are you don't? Uh, what the hell? Distracted. They're keeping you distracted and they're keeping the karmas distracted because I don't think they want y'all to talk. 
or they don't want you to know what's going on. And they're, and they're keeping themselves distracted. They're hustling. They're trying to figure out how to get me in an apartment, a car, get away from this person, especially if they have obligations, expenses, responsibilities, or they made contracts with this person. They, they, they're, they're really hustling. And they're, they're trying to keep the karmic distracted, keep you distracted, because I feel like they're building in this storm that they built. The storm that they, this mess that they made, they're trying to, they're trying to clean it up. Let me see. They coming in this reading too. Karma, why won't you let this man or woman go? They don't care about the conflict. They don't care about him and her I'm running. It's just crazy. I don't care about the conflict and the confusion and the challenges and the ups and downs and the screaming and yelling. You can have him. You can have her. Don't you leave me. Don't you run away from me. Don't you run away from me because I want you. Don't you leave me. They don't care. They don't care. I'll go through your phone. I'll go see where you're at. I'll go where you're at. I'll do what you want, want me to do. I'll sabotage. I'll tell on you. I'll talk about you. I'll tell your secrets. Don't you run away from me. And he just running and running and running. Don't you run toward him. Don't you run toward her. Don't you run and go get help. Don't you run and go get advice. I need you to keep you right where you was mentally. Why are you growing? This person is growing. This person has grown mentally, physically, spiritually. This man or woman has grown and blossomed organically they went and they sat off to they self symbolism they started digging up roots they're getting rid of old people places and things that no longer serve them bad advice they're starting to go on their own tuition they could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgos, or you could be too. They're starting to want to be more organic. They're running the hell away because these cards could be for anybody. They're running the hell away from these karmics or they want to or the energy, but the karmics go, I want you. They make it simple and plain. I want you and I don't want to let you go. I want you and I don't want to let you go and you're avoiding me. Look at all this conflict. Look at the word conflict. It's winding up from what, what, what the ancients want. They need to see somebody, somebody could look like that. They want to run. They want to run. And they want to catch him. Anything else? Why you won't let this man or woman go? Because they feel like that they're high vibrational and they need their energy. These karmics need this man or woman's um, energy to survive. And how the hell did you go from low vibration to high vibration? I could do my work. I could be high vibration to you, for you. What do you mean that you got another connection, a deep connection with another man or another woman? What do you mean? What does that say? What is that saying to me? When did you all of a sudden become high vibrational? They're hating that. Give me more um, clarity on the high vibrational. They're hating that. They're hating that. They got this deep telepathic connection with somebody else and it's high vibration. I'm reading these cards all different. I'm hearing the ancients tell me. Somebody's name is already H, a U, a S, a T, a L, a E. Yeah. Or your name could. Um, give me more on a high vibration. Intimacy. Did I call this shit? Oh my God. They don't want conflict. Oh my. I thought I could have read it wrong. They don't want conflict with the karmics. They want that level of intimacy and high vibrational shit that you give, that you give, or whoever, you know, I think, I feel like it's you because you're looking in collective, that you give, or, you know, to somebody that they got the deep connection with, right? But it's obviously it's you because karmics could be looking in too, only you know, right? They want that with you, the intimacy, the familiarity that we've been here before. I feel safe. I feel comfortable. I feel loved. It's, it's not hard. Love shouldn't be hard and challenging and arguing and destructive and it shouldn't make me feel sick and mad and disgusted and disappointed and defeated and anxious and anxiety and impatient it shouldn't make me feel miserable and mad and angry and narcissistic and at the it can't make a decision and pessimistic love shouldn't feel like that this is what this woman and man said it should feel comfortable and familiar and safe and a sense of belonging and it's high vibrational the karmics is hating this shit the karmics is hating. They're hurting. The karmics are hurting that this man or woman has woken up and got on a different frequency. They don't want that. They're hurting. They're crying on the inside. Please don't leave me. Do what you got to do. Take a break. Do what you need to do, but don't leave me. But the person is like, I can't take it. I can't take it. I'm avoiding you. I, rather we, if I'm on a break, I'm not coming back. I want the intimacy. I'm running away from you. I want the high vibration um, stuff. I don't want this. I don't want the conflict. I want this. Which one looks better? I want this. I don't want the conflict. We keep repeating the same cycle. Somewhere they woke up. Let's see. 
karmics. Why won't you let this person go? Because they know what it is. They know what it is. They know when this man or woman break free from that cage. You ever put a bird in a cage? I used to buy birds. Till I realized I was caging birds. And I remember me and my daughter went to the zoo a couple years ago in Atlanta. And we was talking, looking at how the, the animals were so underfed. But then we were realizing that we were paying to see the animals. And I remember I had a bird. I had a bird years ago. Uh, um, and um, um, I let that bird, some birds get out. And what do they do? They fly away. Or some of them get so hot. It'd be so hot that their heads busted. I know that sounds bad. But, you know, they like they swell up, right? I had, that's how many birds I had. So, you know, but when they get a, get away, I got, like, I like birds and fishes and stuff from my mother. Let them, she, little, like, she used to let them fly in the house and stuff. Because we both like plants. Um, not like plants, I guess, from her. But make a long story short, when the bird got free, the bird's like, hell no, this cage is open and I want to be free. And this is what this person, this is what the comments know. As long as I can keep them caged in, having doubt, insecurities, fear, um, self-sabotage, hit their self-esteem and self-worth, then they're not going anywhere. Give them sex, you know, feed their to their addictions or their pleasure or get them medicated. But somewhere this woman woke up. Somewhere this man woke up and they want to be free and the karmics won't let them go. And when they didn't want to go because they were in their addictions or their fear or their insecurities or they weren't high vibration, right? They were still low, low vibration, low frequency. Now they have woken up to that high vibration that you see. Now they desire intimacy and love. And I wouldn't be surprised if people are talking to them and helping them. Let me see, why you don't let this man or woman go? Help me get out of self. Help me get out of ego. Help me put ego, pride. They can't lose. They can't lose. And plus they love them in their in they way. They can't lose. Disaster, despair, start. They want to start over. Destruction, rut, ruin, betrayal, disappointment. They disappointed. This person has caused them some psychological, mental, physical, and spiritually abusive, um, verbal, sexual. I don't care. Some kind of abuse. Um, some kind of betrayal, some kind of disappointment. They could have left them penniless or, you know, or whatever. But, or they could realize that they did this to this person. You know, they caused them some defeat, some destruction, disappointment, some psychological. You get what I'm saying? They could have took this person's gut out or gumbled mix of both. They did this both to each other. But this is a transformation card. And I do like the way the karmics think. They feel like the same opportunities you get with this man or woman, they feel like it's allotted to them. But they don't understand. That's not how the universe is operating. That's not how divinely ordered it is, right? They feel like they can step into this position. It's like the devil think that he's God, but he's not God. You're the devil. You have a job to do. To a disappointment, cause chaos and confusion where God is that light, right? Symbolism, where God is that light of goodness, of hope. You know what I'm saying? Of deliverance, where the devil is of despair, of trauma. You get what I'm saying? And this is what they want to do. They want to be the God or the light to this person, right? And so they feel like they have an opportunity to transform, but it doesn't work like it doesn't work like that. Even if they transform, ah shit. Not again. Damn. Let me hurt this reading. Start of the damn chair. Um, even if they transform, it's not meant for them to be with this woman or man, and they just can't make that connection. If they transform, they'd be a better man or a better woman. Good. You came out your addictions. You in control that envy, that insecurity, that self-worth. Or you just learned some lessons. Maybe they're very greedy, materialistic. Maybe, you know, they suffer from not even taking whatever they're going to, through. Because they could just be good people. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But at the end of the day, they learn for them. They transform from them. Not for them to be with this man or woman. And they can't, they, they, they don't want to let that go. Why can't the promise let this man or woman go? Night, night of cups because they feel like they're going to reconcile they feel like this is a the, i don't know if i tell y'all i always say this is my favorite card but the knights of cups is very idealistic and some people say he, he stay but then he leaves now look at this card this is a different imagery this is the knights of cups that people learn about where he stay um we can learn about him any way you want i learned the original way my wife was raped because that's what i was uh, I was told to do, but you know, people have, you know, they have different ways and, and they write. And so there's no right or wrong, but this is the one that they hoping to come back where there's, they reconcile, he or she start cheating or creeping or they get upset or they get, or they have makeup sex. They don't have to be cheating and creeping or they're just not getting along, you know, low vibration. They want the, they want the zombie one because the zombie ones always come back. You don't want the zombie one. The zombie one ain't healed. The flesh is hanging off. He's not even real. He doesn't even have any life in him. He's a zombie. He's moody. He's up and down. He's in and out. He's flip floppy. He's charming to the point where, um, you know, um, he only thinks about himself. You know what I mean? They like that. 
They like it because they can control this one, right? This is the one they hope to come back. So this is what they pray for. This is what they think that she or he is going to come back in that night to cups energy. And this one does. This is the one that on um, the energy where you go, I hope he or she will, you know, cut the ties and become high vibration and come back to me. And if they do or if they don't, or if they reject you or don't reject you and come back, they don't stay. This is the one they, they want to come back. Uh, why are the karmics won't let this man or woman go? Because in this reading, this man or woman has came back to these karmics 20,000 times, but they're tired now. Anything else? Now, ooh, the, ooh, honey, the karmics is up for battle. They're feeling brave. They're in their ego. They lack in um, no emotions. They're strategic. They're cunning. They're up for a fight with you or with them. Symbolism. They come in with their tanks, and they feel like it's justified. King of Swords can be very um, fiery and upset and aggressive and, you know, verbal and, you know, and blame game and the victim. And they feel justified. It talks about how he rushes in, but he feels justified. They're ready for war. They ain't coming to no fight with no knife. They're not bringing a, 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 a knife to a gunfight. These people came for war. And anybody in their way going to keep you from this man or this woman, you got to go. Because they want this man or woman. And they come in to get him. And if you're in the, in the way, they want you out the way. And if they don't know you, they're going to let this man or woman know. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to her because we're going to be together. We're going to stay together. We're going to get back together. They're coming for war because they remember all the punk ass promises and illusions by illusionists that this man or woman that you care about, that you love, told them. And they're going to remind them. This is the people that don't forget shit. I remember you slept on the couch. I remember you didn't have shit. I remember this. And I remember that. And I remember when Bobby Brown, I own the copyrights of that. He didn't have anywhere to live, and he slept on this girl's couch. And it was this, this, this is on, on on the thing. And she told everybody, my daughter's like, that is some tacky, low down shit. He just emasculating him, making him feel bad. But but he but I guess she thought he was gonna be with her. But after her, I don't know who he's been with after after her. But he ended up wearing his wife, and they still been together. You know, they had kids together. This is how this is, right? <laughs> this person feels like they can do whatever they want to this man or woman, or they, you know, and they're not gonna experience no repercussions and no consequences, and they're gonna tell their secrets and put them out there and they come in with a rage and a fury a, a fury right this is this is how this is and i don't want to crack to that why you want to let this man or woman go carmen what it is two of swords because they always juggling and they want to throw up in your face they always have choices and keep cheating and creeping and they do and they could just put on some sexy shit or they could throw their money as men and women or they can give them some opportunity or, or you know yeah they can give them give them some opportunity or they can feed their ego massage their ego or give them some kind of job um you know what i mean they know that this person be in their head with illusions and daydreams right and deception and it worked before right look at that and they're gonna keep brainstorming well, maybe i need to do this maybe i need to do that they need to ask some toys oh you want to do a threesome you want to be poly andrew you want to be poly um you know what i'm Said, feed his or her ego. You know, you the best. You sing the best. You sound the best. You walk the best. You're the prettiest. You're the handsome best. You know, you the um, um, you sound better than them. You look better. Like they do whatever they need them to do and say. Whatever they got to pull out to feed this man's ego because it's seven of cups. They know that this person would, used to be drawn to that. But I feel like this man or woman changed from the cards that I got. And plus, they know that this is too a hazard. Juggling. They know this person could be in between careers, jobs, money, financial. Um, they could be dealing with some financial um, um, stress. Or they could always juggle, um, you know, different men, different women. So they depend on that. They don't want this person to experience balance or harmony, right? And they feel like that they got something that they got that keeps them on this chain, right? They keep this. See, they feel like that they're the human and this person is a zombie. And they can keep them on, 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 the, on the chain, right? That's how they feel. I was going to switch that, but I don't. I feel like they, they kept them on the chain before, and they feel like they can do... See, they feel like they can play them same, um, get, play them same chess moves, and that, um, that, that the opponent won't get hit to that. But when you play chess, you play chess as a young girl. I don't play anymore. It's like I play violin. When you play chess, you start paying attention to your, um, your opponent, and you realize some of their strategic moves. Well, this is what's going on. These two people are playing chess. I'm not saying they're playing checkers. This man or woman is, is, is running from their life. They want to move away from this karmic man or woman but the karmics are just as good you're not getting uh, away from me this easy and at the end of the day i don't know what their karma is their karma might be these crazy ass um lunatic karmic men and women maybe they did 
did you wrong. Maybe they talked about you. You know, maybe they overlooked you. Maybe they rejected you. Maybe they cheated on you. Maybe they messed with the karmics or more than one karmic or side pieces. is isn't just men and women. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's, it is. You got, you wanted me. You got me and it's not, you're not going to get rid of me that easy. It reminds me, I always say that, Long Long Island Lolita. I can't think about it. But um, Butterfuco, I don't own the copyrights to that. He would mess with that 16-year-old girl, 30-something um, or 40-something, whatever. And um, he had a wife at home. He had a wife at home. First of all, you mess with a young, young underage, you know what I'm saying? Make a long story short, um, you, his wife loved him. She didn't believe shit. To the girl came to the door and shot her in the in the face. This is on, on this is you know I don't own the copyrights of that. You can just pull that up. I think her name was Amy. I don't remember. Long out. I don't believe it. This is how this shit is. You're not gonna get rid of me without something devastating or traumatic or some kind of tower moment. It don't have to be that bad. No, you're not getting rid of me that 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 easy. And this person now they want now they can't breathe. Now they feel suffocated. Now they got the epitome. Now it's awakening. Now they can see the light. Now they want to get away from the crazy ass karmic men and women, and they can't. Cause the karmics ain't letting them go that easy. Anything else, karmics? Yep, eight of wands, and that's hang upside down. They don't care if this person don't communicate. They don't care if this person don't text. They probably texting them all the time, calling them in the night, going where they're at, screaming and fussing. If they move, they want to move. Wherever they move, they move. I don't mean location. You move, I move. What you doing? They under they, they under the scrutiny of their eye. They 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 can't do nothing. They can't they can't like your pictures. They can't um go where you're at. They can't talk to you. Um, you better not go to her YouTube channel, his YouTube channel. You better not even go to their Instagram. What you talking to somebody in the DM? You better not talk. I remember and people on Twitter know somebody's wife busted out and got into my um got into her husband's um. DM, I guess, and then she said he's married. Y'all, y'all know my person. I keep your chicken head wise out of my um DM. And he was a spiritual man or something like that. I don't even like him. We just talking and laughing. And they were broken up or getting a divorce. And he was talking about some other woman. She had to be stupid. He was telling me about some other woman. You know, but I guess maybe she thought, you know, he was trying to talk to me. I get that, but he wasn't. But she broke in. <laughs> and he was like, dang, did she break? Yes. Yes, and that's how they are. When you move, I move. You're going to have no space. Anything else? And they hate that. And don't talk or affiliate or even act like you want this man or woman. Because we're going to be together. It's kind of funny in a way. Because payback and karma is a bitch. Payback and karma is these karmics, huh? Nine of wands. They got this. Oh, man. They do get weird, but they got this willpower. They're persistent. They're going to complete what they started, and they want this person. And do they look crazy doing it? They got all these faces. This is nothing that I thought was going to be. I thought they was going to stand down. These men and women is not standing down. They're pulling out everything they got. They going to war. Listen, if I was in a foxhole, I'm going to be in a foxhole with the karmics. I'm going to tell you why, because they're giving a 100%. They're going to fight to the end. I ain't going to be in the foxhole when I know these people shooting back at me and they scared and they think about their mom and father and dad and all that. The karmics ain't thinking about one thing, tunnel vision, to survive. And on the symbolism of save my relationship. I want this man, I want this woman, uh, any means necessary. Whether whatever I got to do. You see all these different faces. Whatever it is, I'm going to be in there with them because they want to live. They want to survive. They want this person. Just think about that energy of persistence. You know, the fortitude that they have because they want this man. The kahunas that they got. They want this man or woman. I feel bad for them. I'm going to give them the last card before I kick mine. And they want recognition for what they've done and their achievements and they feel like they're going to be victorious. They, victorious. they got hope. It says no hope. Um, you're on your own, move on. I think this man or woman might have told him it's over, it's time to go, what we have is over. The undead is victorious, but the undead, the undead, the undead is victorious. Undead, is that the zombies, y'all? I don't know, I can't forget. It's official resonance, flee for a chance of survival. You see the zombie go, I got a bone to pick. See that bone? These people got a bone to pick. They just want you to know, I can't read it back. They want you to know that they have some victories, they have some successes. And, 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 and challenges, but they're going to um, win. But I still see no hope. I see no hope. 
Um, it says a tiny chance for survival. You're on your own. They're going to give it their best best um, fight. Can y'all see that? It says a tiny chance. You probably can't. A tiny chance in a newspaper article down there. A tiny chance for survival. I just think that this man or woman has told them, you know, what we had. And I still love you and I always care about you. But it's over. And they're holding on to that. They're holding on to that. Yeah, look at that. They're thinking about how they could have been the other woman, the other man. Just the queen of wands. Known as a mistress um, person. But they're fiery and caring. They're self-sacrificing. But they could be difficult. And they're looking out for their best interests. They, she is a zombie. She's tired. She's been very supportive. She's normally beautiful, um, you know, but she's she's worn out. And I feel like they're going to give everything they got to keep the, keep this man or woman's attention or to keep them, right? Yeah, but she, look at that. These are zombies. That's why they want to use a zombie. You know, he or she ain't trying to have no relationship with no zombie. Let's keep these something in this. <clears throat> why the karmics? won't let this man or woman go they know because they know now that it's over it was different it was like eh, lapsy days here they'll be back you know it was that knights of cups he'll come back he's still idealistic or she idealistic dreamy they still haven't done what they wanted to do and all this and i still do this for them or that or they still have some needs and they being met and i'm feeling them and you know but now this person has grown and they don't like that this person has matured mentally physically spiritually why the karmas won't let this person go it's dead it's dead it talks about when i learned this card like you, you have a harvest i learned it my way like i just changed my definition to understand it and so you plant all these seeds and at one time that harvest grew and it was blossoming and it's good now the world has changed and evolved the soul, souls got mercury i mean water got mercury in it souls contaminated with a lot of chemicals and shit i'm trying to still plant these seeds and now the harvest when it comes up it's dead it's can't you can't eat it and they can't accept that it's over it's over. It's a death card. They just can't accept it no matter what. That's the with Amy. Amy Long, Long Island um, Lolita. Buddy, Buddy, Buddy Fuko probably sexed her brains out at 16 years old. You get what I'm saying? Probably blew her mind. A grown ass Italian stallion man too at that blew her and she just could not understand that he had a wife and kids and family she could not understand that he was cheating he was going through midlife crisis he couldn't understand that she was a tenderoni she was something new new um cooch you get what I'm she couldn't understand she couldn't understand that she was being manipulated and gaslighted you know what i'm saying and this is what this man or woman is going through it's dead it's dead but i keep going back out here I keep going back out here. I'm drugging my legs. I'm going, I'm going to plant these seeds. And I keep getting the same art harvest and repeating the same cycle. It's dead. And they don't want to face that. They throwing, I was there when your mom and dad died. I was there when your kids graduated. I was there when you didn't have any money. You know what I'm saying? And you see the skeleton going, I'm leaving. I'm walking past. As I walk past, y'all fall, y'all die. And she's like, symbolism. She's like, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm walking past. You had your time with me. You had your journey. It's over. We're moving. I'm moving on. And he's he's going past. I got your kids. You know what I'm saying? I did this. I did. They don't care. The death card has came. The shit is over. Give me give me last two cards. Why the card can't? Everything. Oh man, they don't want to argue and fuss and fight anymore. It came upside down. They want peace. They don't want conflict. Don't leave. I won't fuss. I won't fight. I won't argue. It don't have to be challenging. It don't have to be tick for tack. It don't have to be power struggles. I won't put you in no competition. I won't cheat on you. I won't lie and betray. I don't care if you cheat on me or lie and betray. There's a lot of shit going on, right? You know what I'm saying? I'll be nice. I'll be good. I'll change. I'll do this. I'll do that. I don't want it. I just want peace. And now it's too late. It's good card when it come upside down. Now they want to change afterward, right? But the love is not there. The person doesn't want to be there. Good, good. Oh, man. They want to stand their ground. They're going to fight to the end. I said that. If it's competition, bring it on. If it's outside influences, bring it on. They're going to stand their ground. They're going to stand. They're going to fight to the end. This is why. So this is why they wanted me to do this. This is definitely all karmic, too. The karmic wants you to know they're going to fight to the end. They're not letting this man or woman go that easy. They don't care. They don't care if they're in a harsh judgment. They don't care if they're judging themselves. They don't care if this person is judging them. They still don't want to let go of the past. They can't let go of the past. They in stagnation. They still going over nostalgia and memories and shit. And think about when we had sex or when you lied and you was creeping and being deceptive with me. Or when you picked me and you married me and you chose me as men and women. Or when we had the good times or something like that. They don't want to let go of the past. No, they can't let go. It has gotten to the point where they sick now. They even got sick. They playing a good game though. I ain't gonna lie. 
They trying to reinvent themselves now. They got their own style. They could be copying from you. They trying to travel. They trying to open up their mind. They trying to be explored. They trying to be on sale tar territories. They don't care what nobody say. This is a good card. They trying to do what they need to do. They getting back the way you met me. Remember, I was fine. I was handsome. I was very supportive. Remember, we just seen her. She was in the um in the um. She was the, um, I'm sorry. She was the nurse that her body was all, um, all fucked up. I can't find it. Um, well, they don't want you to see them. That, they don't want you to see them that way. I can't find it. They don't want you to see her, see him or her that way. They want to go back to, I'm back looking good. I'm feeling good. I'm back in my power. Some of these people could be, um, tarot card readers, psychic seers and, um, um, you know, whatever. Or they could be doing spell work or get somebody to do some spell work. They could easily be doing, doing pick a pile and see what's going on. Um, yeah, she looks worried. You ever know, like, when you do something wrong, so now you're trying to show this man or woman I, I, I'm this different person, they're really going with that angle. Kudos, that's that's a <laughs> y'all know Terry. That's a brilliant, that's a strategic, brilliant move, and it normally works, right? It normally works with this knight of cups. Um, and they come back, but I don't. I think that they don't understand what intimacy is, and I don't think they understand what high vibration is. It doesn't matter how they look, how supportive they was. Now they're traveling, opening up their mind, trying to do their healing, um, being independent men and women. It could be divorcee. You know what I'm saying? Don't care what nobody say. Trying to stand into their own man or woman. It's, it has to do with the heart. Intimacy is the heart. It's a telepathic connection that you can't break. So it doesn't matter if they look their best or if they go back to the man that he was when they first met and, and they, you know, got riches, rags, rags to riches or whatever. My big ass legs. It doesn't matter. They, they, they don't have their heart. And it's that song, the OJs, your body's here with me, but your mind is on the other side of town. Even if this man or woman stayed. And they hit the lottery and they bought them everything. They would not be happy because their heart is with you. You know what I'm saying? Their mind, their spirit. So everything is with you. They don't have anything to hold on to. Before they could have the, the body parts or maybe this person was thinking with their mind. Maybe this man or woman had did their healing. So they could use that. They could get angry and stay with them. Maybe the sex was good. Maybe they encouraged, support them. Maybe they have contracts together. Maybe they work together. It's something. Now they don't have anything because this person is high vibration. And none of that shit don't mean shit no more. Right? And that's why I don't understand why men go. I got to wait till they have so much money money women gotta wait till I lose weight to meet this person that has nothing to do when your heart your heart wants what your heart wants and they love you for you because you're healthy and you're healing and you're on a healthy relationship thing you're on a different frequency and it's not toxic does that mean that people don't have to work that's not what I'm saying but I'm saying it's not about money right it's about a frequency it's a spiritual we're doing terror it's spiritual and I don't think they get that anything else I don't think they get that, and I feel really, really bad for them. And this person wants to move away from um, choppy waters, and he wants to come towards something calm. Wow, strength came up. Like, they can't do, they can't, the passion was there, and at one time they could tame this beast and this man or woman, but they can't, they can't seem to get emotionally balanced. They can't, you know, their, 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 their masculine energy is, is out of balance, their feminine energy is out of balance. When your feminine energy is out of balance, upside down, like, your feminine energy is balanced, nurturing, caring, empathetic, loving. You get what I'm saying? Understanding. When it's out of balance, you're smothering. You're doing mental manipulation, emotional bullying. I'm going to kill myself or I'm going to kill you. Um, ideation, 18 plus adult material and language. You know what I mean? Don't leave me. I'm going to be sick. You know, crying or, or don't do this or don't do that. Or I'm hurt. That emotional um, manipulation. When the masculine energy um, is in balance, it's goal getters. G-O-A-L. Goal setters. Very confident. Love Loving, stable minded. You get it, right? You know what I mean? Because it doesn't have to do with sexual orientation. When it's out of balance, it's controlling and dominant and tyrant. You know what I mean? You're gonna do what I say, you're gonna stay. And so this is upside down. They don't they, they don't have that inner strength that they once had over this man or woman, or that passion wasn't there. They're so out of balance and they don't know what to do. They're just trying to figure it out. Maybe I'll try this way. Yeah, that's a good way. You know what I'm saying? And then when they find out that they don't care about that, they're glad. I'm glad you healed. I'm glad you're working on your healing. I'm glad you're back on, on your throne as the queen of wands. I'm glad you're traveling, exploring, and opening up your mind. But you don't do it for me. You, you're not the one that can tame me, that can bring my ego down or can massage me or I feel comfortable with you. I'm not there with you anymore and they don't like that. If they were there before, they might have never been there, but they, they might have never been this way. 
right? But they, they, but, 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 but the person was sick. The woman was sick. So maybe, thank you, angels. Maybe being smothering and needy and massaging their ego and being demanding and jealous. Some men and women like that shit. Chase them, arguing, fussing, making up to break up. They were in that sickness, and that's you, you, you get what I'm saying. But you're in this. You know what I'm saying? Okay, enough of that. Bring that ego down, you know what I'm saying? Let's balance out your masculine and feminine energy to men and women, right? And they love it because they're high vibration, right? And plus, you're their wish fulfillment, but they was their wish fulfillment too, yeah. They wanted them too, but this man and woman don't want them. Anything else with the karmics? And let me see how this person feels about the karmics. I think the karmics know that you're good competition and they can't compete with you. This is the Empress card. Some of y'all could be Tauruses. Um, that's only card I know the Taurus. But you know, they feel like you're very abundant, loving, beautiful, handsome, caring, um, um, got great characteristics, and they do want to be like this. I go with my first instinct. That's what tarot card reads. I'm not trying to make it seem like that. And they, if they can't, you can't compete with an empress. And they realize that. And this is what you do. See? See? She's the empress. And they can't, and they can't, and they can't. Let me, anything else you want, uh, want? They can't compete with a loving, a person that's character and integrity and, you know, love animals and children and people. They probably, people love you and joyful. Just whatever an empress is under that umbrella of, you know, a good character and abundance and, you know what I'm saying? And peace and serenity and, you know, enough goodwill and comfort and intimacy. They can't compete with that. Anything you want um, me to know with the karmics? They don't want you. <laughs> they don't want you to be the benefit of what they came from. The money, the friends, the family. This is a benefit card. You know, knowing everybody. Now they out in the cold. Oh my God! They don't want that to happen. They're gonna miss this life that this man or woman gave them. Whether they live with them or not, they still benefit through affiliation. They friends. Um, you know, maybe the good times and stuff. And now this person is putting out them out in the cold. Now they getting breadcrumbs. Now this. Now this. This is not long term energy. This is short term energy. And this person is not feeling the same but at one time they was in this position they was benefiting from all that you know the legacy the money the family the friends the community um you know through the affiliation if the person don't have money you know what i mean they could just be a celebrity or they could be very creative they benefit from that now this person has booted their ass out in the cold they can't even think about no future right they ain't getting ghosted or they're getting short or they're getting limited um conversation i want to ask how this man and woman sorry carmen okay let me get the comments for their last card anything else you want to say Bingo, and bingo was his name of that they have major regrets. They, they should have broken some patterns and behaviors and curses and stuff that didn't align with them. Um, you know, generational patterns that, that, that was, um, you know, that, that was passed down. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You know, maybe they, maybe they cheated with your husband. It was your husband, your boyfriend. Maybe they broke up your family. Maybe they allowed this stuff to be a side piece. Maybe they were too, um, you know, smothering or, or they were too, um, ambitious to get him or her. Maybe they were very mean spirit. You get what I'm saying? Something that they feel bad about. You see how the head is down. They feel bad. This is five cups and they have a lot of regrets. But they should have did it a certain way and they didn't do it that way. You know what I mean? Maybe it causes them to feel hurt and pain and insecurities. You know what I mean? Maybe they start flashing back of the dysfunction that they didn't do, right? And the karmics want you to know that they have regrets. They have a lot of regrets. They have hurt. They have pain. There's a lot of things that they did wrong. They repeated uh, patterns, behaviors, and um, you know, and curses and generational paths that no longer served them. And they added some. And they added to the wheel. You know what I mean? And they have a lot of hurt and pain. But the karmics are going to be all right because there's two challenges in the back. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to leave them hanging. They just they're not going to be with this man or woman. And they're so fixated on being with this man. This man or woman don't want them anymore. But they may be in the future. They'll make another man or woman very very happy because they've learned from this and maybe they won't repeat those same behaviors being vindictive and deception and, you know lying and cheating or being mad or jealous or telling him or her not to do this and not to do that and being smothered you better not like her pictures or speak to him you better be meeting her i'm just making up shit you get what i'm saying or messing with somebody's husband boyfriend or allowing herself to be, be in compromising positions you know what i'm saying or you know so they'll be all right right now let me see does this man or woman want the karmic come on let's, does this man or woman no this is a moon card. Tarot card reads, no. This is a, no. It's, it was all an illusion. It was deceptive. It was a romantic illusion. It was a lot of lies, mistrust. Remember the karmic's card came out and said they need to work on their trauma. This is dysfunction, trauma, laying dormant, and all that. No, they don't want the karmics. No, it was just all an illusion. 
It satisfied their purpose purpose at one time. This man or woman could have been whoremongers, king of wands, very attractive men and women. They get what they want. The karmics came through. They stayed a little bit longer. I mean, it is what it is. No, they don't want the karmics anymore. They know they got to get justice. They know, I'm asking them now, the people that you love. They know they got to pay for the karma for what they did to the karmics. And they know they got to pay for the karmics, karma for what they did to you. But they also know that the karmics are their justice. They know that now. They know that now, and the karmics ain't trying to heal that, and they're working on their healing. They got an awakening. I told you they got an awakening, and now they want to they want to bring you the cup. They want to show you how they change and how they love you because you offered them the cup of love, and they rejected you. And now they want to have a relationship with you. And they know they're under judgment, and they're judging themselves so harshly. They want to move away from the karmics. They have a fear, though. They're contemplating. They think that you're not going to want them, but they want to move towards you, right? Let me see this. Because they know that they breadcrumbed you. They know that they breadcrumbed you. They know that they breadcrumbed you, put you out in the cold, and did you wrong. Like, they're not fixating on the karmics anymore. They don't care about the karmics and outside influences. They're not putting you in competition anymore. They want to stand. They're going to stand their ground too. This talks about outside influences, putting people in competition and holding your, their ground. This person wants to put roots down with you, right? See, everything that the karmic is thinking is what was they thinking of what they did to you. And now they realize they owe the karmic debt to you. Maybe they owe karmic debt to the karmic. Or maybe they realize the karmic is their, is their karmic debt, um, their karma. But at the end of the day, they want to be with you. Anything that you want to tell them, since you say you want to be with them, yeah, they love you. And you offer them their couple love and they love you. And it is what it is. What's this card, though? Oh, my God. Because you're their twin flame. <laughs> you're their twin flame. They want to reconcile with you. I said it's twin flame. I, we had the vibration card. So that was my confirmation. And they know this time when they choose between um, two lovers, they're not going to choose low vibration. They're choosing high vibration. High vibration, I, I say the same thing. It's a divine order for two people to be together um, for whatever, all of Jesus, the ancestors, the ancients, spirit guides, the universe, whatever you call the Hindu gods, I don't care. Um, but for them to be together because they have a divine purpose and this time, this time around, they're going to make the right decision and they want a new beginning and they, and they realize your achievements and your accolades and people look up to you and they want to be a part of that. And they, 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 they admire you and your success and your victory. The karmics ain't got a chance no more. Now they finally made the realization that you're their twin flame and they want a new beginning with you, but you know, and they're going to choose wisely, but you know, the karmics ain't going to let them go. Yeah. It's funny how they know now, right? When they can't, when they can't get out of this later.